Hello everyone, strangers, friends, fellow listeners. Welcome to Strangecast episode 6. What's the title again? Um, I don't think you've come up with one yet. Me? Yep. What about you? No, it's your job. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> well... I did the research. You did a lot of research. Exactly. Well, it's to do with X anyway. So I suppose just that one word and people will be looking at that going, huh? Like I was. Well, you could call it Iktok, because I did get some of these from TikTok. I like that. There you go. Well, you guys uh, seeing this will have already seen this, but we just decided this seven seconds ago, so welcome to Iktok. <laughs> <laughs> so take me by the hand, my dear, and tell me, what road are we travelling down today? Okay, so we're going to talk about Ix, um, our Ix, some of our family Ix, and some very strange ones from TikTok, like I said. But I don't know what they are. So that means if I don't, probably lots of other people don't as well. Yes. What exactly is an ick and why? An ick, I suppose the easiest way to explain it is something that makes you cringe, um, that somebody that you perhaps like, you know, like a potential mate. Right. A boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever they might be. Um, or just generally in the street. Um, it's usually towards somebody that you might be attracted to. And they do something or have a particular feature or something that just makes you go, ugh. Okay. Basically. Would you say that this is a more female-centric or male-centric thing? Well, interestingly, whilst having a look through TikTok videos and everything... I would say that 90% of what I found was X that women felt towards men. That's what I thought, because until um, you mentioned it, I had never heard of this. I think maybe because women tend to be a bit more sensitive, we pick up on the little things, um, whereas men are just a bit more blasé about, about it. I'm generalizing, obviously. This is just what I've come across. Um, and one of the big things that does stand out is that for women, a lot of these things are, you'll see, probably quite trivial. Right. Um, and generally just things that just sort of make us go, oh, I don't know, I'm not ick. sure about that. Basically the ick, yeah, the cringe factor. Whereas the ones that have come out from men about women tend to be more based around... Um, their appearance or their personality. Okay. They tend to be a bit more serious, I suppose, than um, some of the, the ones that women feel. But we'll, we'll come across those. I think I'm intrigued. Yeah. Right then, take it away. So I thought it might be quite fun to do our icks first. So just to sort of give a rough idea. So for me, something that I would have really really struggled with if you'd had this is long nails oh, yeah. i do not like long nails on a man and i'm not talking about um certain men that like to have long false nails have them painted have them you know get their nails done that's completely different i'm talking about just very long overgrown unkempt, not, unkempt nails that for me is not not a good thing um and I spoke to Alice about this the other day as well. We were discussing it. And for her, she said wearing their trousers too low. Oh, yes. So Show your underwear. Or even not. I mean, sometimes they then have their jumpers quite low to cover that. But when they have to then do the waddle to keep their trousers up. Oh, wow. That just, it's so ridiculous. And watching those boys, because I say boys because usually it's teenage boys. If you're past 18, 19 and you're still doing it. You really need to evaluate your life, I think. But so these boys that wear their trousers too low and then have to waddle, watching them run for a bus <laughs> might actually be the funniest thing I've ever seen. We should call it the penguin perch. Yes, absolutely. So that was... Or the penguin shuffle. I need one. something alliterative. I can't think of anything. Someone in the comments, penguin what? What goes with P when you're running for a bus? <laughs> um, also chewing with your mouth open. No. Nah. So when you're eating, eating with your mouth open. That is a common one that has come up again and again from most people that I spoke to. That will be mine. Yeah. 
it's not good or talking whilst you're chewing and eating that's also just don't a big no don't talk to me when you've got food in there no save it whatever i it also is. really struggle on podcasts other people's podcasts obviously because we wouldn't do such things <laughs> but listening to a podcast right close up in your ear when someone is chewing swallowing uh, yeah, yeah. I have a thing about that. Anyway, so, uh, and the other one that Alice mentioned was when boys wear too much, like, gel in their hair and it just looks really slimy and greasy. Ah, uh, yes. She doesn't like that. Um, Jake's one, Jake doesn't really have many. He's not really particularly interested in girls and stuff yet. So, but the one thing that actually made me laugh um, was when girls have really, really long, thick, fake eyelashes that make them look like bugs oh yeah yeah so he said like you know a lot of girls in his class at school have these big thick fake eyelashes and when they blink they flutter oh yeah and it just looks really stupid like they can barely open their eyes all the way very heavy yeah so that made me laugh um so then i asked my sister what hers were so this is my sister charlotte's mm -hmm. um so her, I mean, she has the usual, the chewing and talking, you know, with your mouth full, all of it's that. It's just good manners, really, not to do that. Exactly. Um, so her main one as well was when you're talking to somebody on a dating website and almost immediately they ask you for your number. Don't do that. So she does not like that. That's cringe. It is a bit, and it also kind of... And it's creepy. Yeah, it is a bit creepy. It's too much too soon. So... All of that. Take it slow. <laughs> That's a good um, one, actually. Also, uh, dirty nails. So not just long fingernails, but also if they're dirty. Well, yeah, you don't know where they've been. Exactly. Clean hands is the way forward. And men who come up to you in the street asking you for your number or details. Um, There's a lot wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. There is, and I still find it really bizarre that men think that that's acceptable. And I wonder how many women actually... Just give it. Just give it, or are impressed by that. Because everybody that I know who this has ever happened to um, has always been offended, really, because it's usually done in quite a sleazy way. So it's usually men or young men trying to impress their friends like do it for a dare get her number and it's just ridiculous really mm. don't do that yeah we don't like it it's not okay um so those were hers then i spoke to my best friend kelly uh she had quite a few um <laughs> <laughs> so sort I of she would yeah basic ones swearing bad manners smokers you know all that kind of usual gamers she she's not keen on gamers um people with shaved eyebrows so when they shave like a little pattern into the eyebrows i didn't even know that was a thing oh yeah yeah okay um branded clothing now really? i probably should have asked her to elaborate because i'm not sure if she's talking about like sports brands like nike maybe or just um, you know, uber expensive brands. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I might have to clarify that one. Uh, again, the too much hair product. Um, burping like it's cool. So men that sit there and belch the out. Yeah. yeah, that's it's not attractive. It's not nice. Don't do it. No. It's again, not. the dirty hands, and then the last one is jogging bottoms. Really? She does not like it when men wear jogging bottoms. I'm sure I used to wear a lot of those when I was younger. I used to wear them when we were together when we first got together. Um, now, I, I don't know. I don't quite get this one. To me, it's fine. Joggy bottoms. I don't really like it when they're stretched out at the knee and they just look all a bit Holy. saggy and old. But yeah. that's kind of the same for any trousers, really. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that's really interesting. I mean, jogging bottoms. I know. I guess it's just she just does not find that attractive. Fair enough. Man. Um, so now you've heard ours, as in me and... The rest of the motley crew yeah what about you can you think of any yeah if you were a smoker it wouldn't have happened mm -hmm. i can't i cannot think of kissing a smoker no. 
No. Snogging a smoker is even worse. No doing. <laughs> no go. Anything else? Um, most of the rest. Chewing. Mm -hmm. Mouth wide open. And I, I have, unfortunately, a friend who does this. He's male. And he talks to me on the phone sometimes. Rarely nowadays. And he'll buy food on the phone to me and eat it. And I just can't take it. Yeah, that's not good. I don't want to hear that. Mm. Tell me whatever it is, however unimportant or important it is, when you're done with your food. Yeah. I agree. But I think also, I mean, we've been together long enough that I've probably forgotten most of mine. <laughs> if I had a need to really begin with. Yeah. That is true. Um, I suppose actually thinking about it, which we did talk about before, was that you didn't like... Um, like the text speak that is a thing yeah that's so true, that actually. would have been an ick for you and you didn't email like that and because we, we're so old we used email to start dating <laughs> um she emailed me because going back to uh episode three was it now i think yeah something Probably. like that maybe the gumtree one anyway uh we she emailed me using gumtree and she didn't write like hello m8 how are <laughs> you as in letters um she used real proper people words and i found that rather nice because it's not an a lot email of did. even if i had spoke i just you don't talk like that in an email people do and they do it everywhere else as well and it's just become like you have to decide if i have to decipher what you've written then yeah. i'm not really that bothered about it to be honest it's like a code yeah i haven't got time for it i always think it's really amusing when older people speak like that you know sort of yes 60s 70s that. Even my mum did it to me over text <laughs> yeah, and on Facebook Messenger. It's and I was funny. just like, mum, please don't. Yeah. Just don't. <laughs> okay, so yes. um, I have found a few online um, to talk about. So this is just sort of a random Google from Yahoo that came up. Um, so we have like poor personal hygiene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Bad breath. So, yeah. yeah, not looking after your teeth. You know, you might have a beautiful face, but if you smile and you've got really dirty, smelly breath, bad teeth, it's not good. You know what, actually? That reminds me of teachers. Coffee breath. Coffee breath. And they talk in your face like you're like a nobody, yeah. and it just reeks of coffee. Well, I messaged you yesterday, didn't I, and said that the train that Alice and I was on smelt like coffee breath. Yeah, you did. That was... Because it was the to morning work train. Yeah, so that's true. And like we aren't coffee drinkers, so no. maybe it's different. But that thing, oh, it it gets. It's a bit like, have you ever smelt a sneeze? I think so. yes, yes, I have actually. There are certain people <laughs> that when they sneeze, there is a smell to it, and that's weird. I never thought of that, but yeah, yep. there is. I've walked into rooms before and thought, and I couldn't, I couldn't explain it to you. I couldn't describe what it smells like. But you walk in and think, this smells like someone sneezed, or lots of people have sneezed. You can generate that smell by spitting on a hot plate. Don't ask me how I know that. That's that's a bit grim. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. we had an argot at school. There you okay. go. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Basically, it's just a lot of breath smells, isn't it? <laughs> that's a whole thing in itself. Yeah. Um, what about people that chew gum and talk to you? I mean, it's like eating, I suppose, but just that as well incessant yeah i don't like it when it's really obvious you know that kind of side chewing a bit like a cow <laughs> yeah. um that sort of yeah. chomping or when you see the gum in their mouth moving from side to side Oof. i'm not keen on that i must say um but yeah uh so moving on again we have you know i think most people find the whole talking with food in your mouth quite offensive which considering the number of people that i see doing it is strange but you know and then you wonder how the fictional ron weasley ever got a date oh what because that's his whole thing ah uh, okay well yeah um so somebody who posts too many mirror selfies oh really that's a big ick for a lot of people vain yeah and that is cringy if all of your social media all of your instagram whatever it might be is just you posing in the mirror, you know. Yeah. It's one thing taking a selfie when you're out with friends or out 
um, enjoying yourself, visiting places, traveling, you know, that's cool. But maybe not too many just of yourself in the mirror. Take them, just maybe don't post too many. People aren't keen on that. Um, People wearing clothes the wrong size. So trousers. If you'd have stopped at wearing clothes, I would have laughed. (laughs) Yeah, people wearing clothes. That's an ick. Um, No, clothes the wrong size. So trousers that are too short, um, maybe a shirt that's too tight and bursting at the seams. Lots of people don't like that. Yeah. So well-fitting clothes. But there's a difference between well-fitting and tight-fitting. Oh, yeah. Tight-fitting is, you know, clings to the body and that's okay. Things that are too short, so trousers that, you know, don't go where, sit where they're supposed to or, yeah, you know. Um, like I said, a shirt that is bursting at the seams, I think. If you breathe too much, it's just yeah, going to pop. Yeah, buttons pop off. That's what people don't like. Um, <laughs> people who clap when the plane lands... <laughs> lots of people don't like that and find that really icky it's such a bizarre one actually but that's the thing is a lot of them are really bizarre um lots of really strange things that you would never even think of that would never enter your mind there will be somebody that has thought about that and thought no that is an ick fair enough and that is a big one people don't like that and people who shorten words unnecessarily so oh. things like saying, um, I'm having a menti B for a mental breakdown. Don't do that. Or the cosy lives, cost of living, things like that. That, I hope, is not just some kind of scouse thing. <laughs> the last one, anyway. Cosy lives. No. The other one is just dumb. Yeah. But you'd be surprised how many people do do that. Um, yeah. So those are not. Brecky. Not like. Brecky. That's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, see, I don't... That's not too bad. No. Um, I think it's quite dependent on the context and the placement. Yeah, because, you know, people say holly bobs. Oh. Boy. Now, I would never say that, but <laughs> I don't think I find it offensive or irritating. But then there are some where it's just like, oh, come on. Yeah. Um, I, I just can't think of any off the top of my I think head. this is... The kids mentioned something about brain rot words the other day. I feel like we're in delving into that territory a little bit ah i don't remember that i don't know any other words because okay. i'm not young enough anymore but i they, <laughs> they said that there were words that like okay. words to do with brain rot mm. and the teachers didn't like it wasn't there a whole discussion about i think jake mentioned it the other day okay i'll have to ask them speaking of which actually good segue we're going to have a meet the kids podcast at some point soon during probably during the half term holiday yeah so if you have questions for our kids about anything we've talked about or you know being the kids of one blind parent or anything like that let us know and we can get them to answer them yes as much as possible um so then i found a few from tiktok because that is where you find the most bizarre Just a um few. yeah and this is specifically women's x towards men um flapping their arms when they take their coat off so you know when you're shrugging your coat off of your shoulders <laughs> that you flap your arms around like a bird, kind of, to get get it to come I'm off. free. Yeah. Women don't like that. Well, women on TikTok in this video. I'm not talking about me. None of these are my icks particularly or anything. These are just what I have found on TikTok. Particularly? <laughs> yeah. That shortening, well, it's not even, it's just bad English, isn't it? Yes. Right then. <laughs> um, wearing big swimming goggles. So the ones that cover <laughs> half of your face and sometimes your nose. The woman on TikTok from this video found that a big ick when her boyfriend did this on holiday. Wow. Yeah. Guys taking selfies. Apparently that's an ick too. Huh? Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know. This is just what I found. If you have a cool thing. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I did that with a vinyl record once. I didn't think it was that bad. No, not at all. Drinking through a straw. No, I like making the noise with a straw. <laughs> you me do. Alone. Yes. I can make a straw like a, like a pan pipe. Mm-hmm. It's my thing. Um, Climbing down from the top bunk of a bunk bed. Don't have one anymore. No. Did as a kid. I mean, <laughs> I don't think you can have icks towards kids, but yeah. 
Um, having a bath instead of a shower. Well, maybe if you've had a hard day's work at the gym or anything like that, and you want to relax your muscles. Exactly. To be honest, I'd just be, you know, happy that they're having a wash. Yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> as long as your partner is a clean person and doesn't smell, why does it matter how they get to that point? I feel like as a man, I have to counter a lot of these. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, running for a bus with a backpack on. How is he supposed... Am I supposed to take it off and then be like one side heavy? Yeah, apparently. No. I don't know. Because there were quite a lot of even just, you know, when you're walking and you sort of trip up. Yeah. That gives some women the ick. And you trip. When you so trip. something you can't help because it's like a piece of payments raised higher than the last part. Exactly. Nice. I mean, there was absolutely stupid ones that I haven't even bothered writing down because they're actually just dangerous. Things like putting a seatbelt on. Can you just not? Yeah. Having a valid driving license. I mean, they're just absolutely bizarre. And I, I think, think they speak more about the women that have these. Some people just be trolling. Mm. Seatbelt. Um, <laughs> yeah. You want to die in an accident? Be, be your guest. Not my guest. Be your guest. <laughs> uh, tomato stains around the mouth. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I mean, to be honest. It's personal hygiene again. It is personal hygiene, but sometimes these things happen. I don't... You don't always see it. Well, because no. you're, you're not taking a mirror selfie to find out. Exactly. Don't mind. <laughs> don't mind. Um, so I tried quite hard to find some for men towards women. Yeah. But it is much harder. I think so. Um, I think we sort of... Well, we have different brains. We know the whole Mars Venus thing. Mm-hmm. And listening to these, I'm honestly most of the time just going, what the hell? I don't know where I stand. Yeah. And I think a lot of men listening to this probably be similar, possibly. Absolutely. But and I think women, it would feel a bit like, what what can I do then? If I can't wear goggles, I can't drink through straws, I can't run for a bus. And I, I can't, can't wear, wear a seatbelt. I can't wear a seatbelt. All these things. What am I allowed to do? Sit. Yeah. Look statuesque. <laughs> in my big, tight shirt. But not too tight. Very tight. All the tight. <laughs> um, so the ones for men towards women are if she snores. Wow. That's an ick. Um, if she's talking in the third person. Never do that. <laughs> I can understand why that would be a bit annoying, to be fair. It kind of goes along the same vein of some men don't like the baby voice. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, I can understand that too. <coughs> Especially if you talk to me in that voice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, people sort of have a voice that they talk to you know two babies and small children and that's okay, i think it's okay it's a context thing again it, a lot exactly it's context isn't it um shoes that are too small for them so usually we're talking about open toed sandals oh. and the toes touching the floor when they walk speaking of that remember your sandals thing you didn't mention that <laughs> socks and sandals yeah i'm not a fan of socks and sandals no no, that's, she really isn't. No, I'm not. I'm not. But you're not the only one. I know a lot of people do not like. <coughs> Sorry. A lot of people do not like that. No, it's it's not the best look, I feel. But you know, each to their own. And if that's what you like to wear, then go for it. It's not something that I would probably. I don't want to say let you wear because that sounds awful. I would never not let you wear anything that you wanted, but. I would try and... Dissuade me gently? Yes. Exactly. Feminine wiles. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I will not wear socks and sandals, especially in your presence. Now, when Thank you go you. away, every day That's is going to be socks and sandals. You, you crack on. <laughs> By the way, don't I don't mind. really like socks and sandals. Because you've got the stupid <laughs> thing in between your toes. Oh, well, that's flip-flops, isn't it? That's flip-flops. That's, that's even worse. That's silly. I don't understand that. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah. No, but I think then, you're right, actually. When I went to Barbados, for example, I don't think I ever wore socks and sandals. No. Sandals are for hot weather, so you don't need to put socks on. Yeah. Um, Another one was baggy leggings. Men don't like it when women are wearing baggy leggings. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, it's usually just because they're stretched out, they're old, the oh, okay. elastic is gone. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it kind of goes back to the ill-fitting clothes, doesn't it? Yes. You know. Um, huh. Funny. Talking in slang. So some men don't like it when women 
try to talk in slang in say words that are perhaps a bit more masculine okay. so like calling people bruv they okay. don't like <laughs> yeah. for a posh white girl to say that it's just very funny to me <laughs> so i shouldn't start calling you bruv no sis <laughs> Um, too much fake tan. They don't like it when they use lots of fake tan and particularly when the hands get stained from using it. Ah, okay. okay. That's, yeah. You're probably using it too much if that's the case. Um, yeah, possibly. But I mean, if you're just applying it with your hands, it is going to stain the palm of your... I, I don't know. I never, never used fake tan in my life. But it would stain the palm of your hands. So, yeah. How interesting. Yeah. Well, then maybe the ick for women would be like smoke-stained man hands. Oh, that's got to be disgusting for anybody, though, surely. Because it sticks to you. Yeah, that's it gross. Sticks to everything you touch. Um, <laughs> this was, this was a bit of a bizarre one, but climbing the stairs on all fours, <laughs> so like <laughs> scampering up the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not. I mean, I think we've all done that as a child. Yes. But I'm not really sure why you would. If you're half do that as an adult. drunk, well, probably Maybe. more than half drunk. But uh, th but then, would you be scampering? No, fast. You'd be going it's very slowly. It's that quick scamper that people find. Who who does who does that? I don't know. But this is what some people were saying in these videos that I found. Um, and the last one was too much makeup. A lot of men didn't like it when women wore too much makeup, um, mainly because they found or felt that it was catfishing. So when they saw the women the next time or in the morning hmm. and they don't have all that makeup, they look completely different. Hmm. Um, That's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I, th I don't know. Does it, det is it basically hiding yourself and are you covering up for something? Potentially. Yeah. But then for some women, it's a confidence thing. Yeah. So. That one's. Interesting. Yeah. That could go down like kind of deep, oddly. Yeah. There's all sorts of reasons why you might do that, and not all of them are savoury. Or sweet, rather, I should say. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's the thing. I think that's the one I'm stuck on the most. Not because it's a bad thing or a good thing. It's just too much makeup. It's a front. It is. Um, but I suppose people like what they like. And if you prefer somebody to be a bit more natural but of course you know i think if you get to know somebody and you like them enough it shouldn't matter no 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 how much makeup they're wearing but at the same time you know you are just attracted to what you're attracted to but there are some mean people in the world so too much mm -hmm. might be covering up for something that you oh absolutely that's what i meant i was yes my brain was going down all sorts of other paths like yeah bad things yeah definitely um but that's all i have that's quite a long that list. Is, yeah. It's and there list. were many, many more bizarre ones that I left out because they were just ridiculous. But um, yeah, so there you go. That's a, well, I think if people don't have anything to say about these, I'll be quite shocked. <laughs> yes. Um, my brain was just like going through these going, I don't know what half of this even means, <laughs> but that's all right. So you know what we'll do? We'll do our positive thing, or my positive thing. I don't okay. know if you have one this week, which sounds I, really terrible. I know it does. <clears throat> and it's not to say that my week hasn't been good. I just can't think of a particular moment that's shareworthy. So it's all on you today. Okay. Well, this is kind of a follow-on from the last episode when I talked about Jake and the motherboard. Um, well, we got he got some extra RAM from Amazon for the motherboard because he was running on one four gig stick and you really can't use a machine with four gigs these days. It's not very good. And because uh, we thought one of the sticks was broken because the previous motherboard uh, broke. It turns out it wasn't broken. The slots that you are supposed to put RAM in on most motherboards, you're supposed to put RAM in one slot, then leave a gap and then put RAM in the next. So we did that like you're supposed to do and it didn't boot. And we took out one of them and it booted. So we thought that that one stick was bad. And then on, I think, Saturday morning, I went up there. We spent about 45 minutes trying all these different things. And it turns out that both sticks do work, but they actually have to be in slots next to each other. 
So we got the eight gigs back. But anyway, he'd bought new RAM and we fitted it that evening. So now he's got 16 in there and we've got two spares because no matter what config we tried, we couldn't get those to work. So it was kind of a nice moment together. We spent time trying all these different combinations of things and uh, we got it to work, kind of. Um, he's happy with it, certainly. It's doing uh, really well. It's his first server machine. He's running a Minecraft server on it, which currently isn't working, but I'll help him get it working. So that's nice. But yeah, the boy has a, another computer, as if he didn't have enough. <laughs> There's so much electricity going into that bedroom, honestly. Yes, <laughs> that's true. So what about you? Do you have even one cool thing? Um, no, sorry. Not that I can think of. But did you want to tell everybody about the um, scaffolding in the garden? Oh, yeah. that was something that you were... I forgot about that. I don't know how. About. Yeah, so yesterday, when we were recording this, um, I woke up to... Well, I say woke up. I was sitting on my chair where I'm sitting now, and I had only recently woken up, I suppose, to a lot of noise and talking very close to the window. And the thing is, the window slash door is our back garden. It's not a shared space. And I could hear a lot of poles and banging, and I was like, what is that? That's closer than I'm sure it should be. So I stick my head out the door, and there's two builders. Hello, Mike. It's like, you're in my garden. I'm like, yeah. And I think they thought that I was part of the house that lives above ours, right? So we live in the Masonette. So there's, we have first two floors, and then there's two other floors, but you enter those from a different part of the building. So I walk outside, and I say, what on earth is this? And they're like, oh, we're just doing scaffold to fix the leak on the roof. But the thing is, we weren't informed. Um, the tenant who lives above us must have talked about a leak coming into their flat, and so the scaffolders maybe didn't ask the right questions or the people who booked it. But what they should have asked is, how do we gain access to this and whose garden is it? But they didn't. I think they maybe just made an assumption that the tenant owns all the, house, all the garden. But this is a private garden, and so the builder just climbed over the wall and started putting scaffold up, and I was quite annoyed about it. So I contacted the landlord, and they also didn't understand how it happened either. It was all a bit weird. So um, they were kind enough not to put scaffold in the way of the back door because we wouldn't have been able to open it and get the dog out or anything like that. Um, and the builder, who one of the three, I think, there was out there at one point, came and knocked the door. It was very apologetic. Um, and said he would take my number, and he would call the office and be like, this is not okay. And I said, yeah, it's not, because I'm a vulnerable tenant, technically, and that's kind of how I'm classed, you know, being blind and I am on the tenancy. So they should have informed me, and they didn't, and it's very irritating. So uh, when you guys came back and you looked outside, you said it didn't look too bad. No, not at all. I mean, uh, you can hardly tell. You can hardly see it. Um, but obviously that's not the point. It's not about what it looks like. It's the, the not telling us first. And I just want to say that I don't think it was anything to do with the scaffolding company because it wasn't from my understanding of how scaffolding works they are a completely separate company they're not doing any of the work to the building they just literally get a call to say this is the job you need to go and put it up and they will just access your garden because the they've whole been told point it's okay they've yeah. been told it's okay and they are there to cause as little interruption to you as as possible so the same thing when my mum and dad had scaffolding put up in front of their house the scaffolders just turned up and put it up they didn't knock on the door and say we're here we're going to do it they just do it and go that's just what happens so they obviously assumed that we knew um so it, you know it's nothing to do with them um, no they were really good actually both of them um very kind and they're like we'll try and put the poles out of the way so that you don't walk into them and yeah. i think they probably did a good job at that I no, they, they there have since. they've done a really good job um you know but there is that case of had you not realized or had we not been home and then yeah. we came back and found it and i walked out there i wouldn't yeah. expect massive poles to be in my garden exactly <laughs> that is the thing you know just just let us know yeah so there we go that's us for this episode of strangecast i hope you enjoyed it if you have comments you know what to do you can leave them in the youtube comments or you can go to our website which is onj.me forward slash contact put strangecast in the subject line and leave us your thoughts. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.